got him. You're again. Again. Uh. <laughs> Welcome back guys, today we're at Toyota Southern Maryland and we're here to check out the new Supra. Um, I got permission from Wendy, she's going to let us check out the car and then um, try and show you guys some of the details and stuff on the new Supra. Okay, so like first opinion, like this is my first time sitting in it. Um, the the like windshield view is like really, really, really small. <laughs> the windshield view is like really, really small, but like I love the way the interior feels. Adam, first opinion. I like it because it's BMW, but it's too tiny. It's really tiny. It is. It's, so, to give a size comparison, I'm like 5'8", and like, my head is probably about a hand away from the, like, roof. And then like, it's like the size of an 8'6", but like with a way better, way better motor. But like, so much of this car seems like a BMW, like, the media control thing. Like, my dad has a 5 Series, this is exactly like what you use to control the nav and stuff in it. And then like, under the hood, we already found like, lines and stuff. And they're labeled BMW. It's like the math. Right off the bat, BMW, BMW. I mean, obviously it's a BMW motor, but like everything that you would think like might be Toyota, it's not, it's still BMW. The only thing that's Toyota is chassis itself. Pretty much everything inside the car is BMW. So some other things about the car, um, it has a heads up display, which is like really, really like thin bar that kind of comes up right here. You can't see it right now. Um, and it wouldn't really show up on the camera either way. But um, it also shows horsepower and torque if you go into like the sport mode. There's a like display, sports displays. And you can go in here and get a horsepower and torque readout. Now, I'm guessing from the Challenger's like super track pack performance pages that it's not very accurate. Um, the Challenger, is bone stock and that one probably reads pretty accurate but like the charger the orange car that one the numbers are way off um we've downloaded that car and know what it actually makes and the the numbers that pop up here are like really really far off so i wonder if this one is similar to that or if it reads way off also and then this car has got the carbon fiber package one thing that's really weird about the shifter is in order to actually like switch it from gear, um, you have to hit this unlock button. So like when you go to drive and you just do this, like try and push it into gear, it doesn't do anything. You actually have to hit this and do it in order to get it to go into gear. The, um, the third brake light looking light down here, that's actually not a third brake light, that's a reverse light on this car. Um, but the body lines on this car I really, really, really like. Now, a lot of people are iffy on it. I really like it, but like, when Adam was like saying the car is really small, like, this is my eye view. You can see like, you can almost see the hood 
chrome over the roof. Like it's such a such a low car. Even getting in and out of it, it's like really really close to the ground. Um, it's got 275s in the rear and 255s in the front. I think they're like Michelin. Uh, I think they're like the sport cups. I can't really remember. So like a lot of this stuff that like TJ Hunt was talking about, where like the cars are selling like way over markup. This one, the sticker price is 53, and it's selling for 56. So it's not like they're like ridiculously expensive. 